because of the certainty of God's word. Amen. Because Jesus crushed the devil. Amen. Because the reign of sin and death is over. Amen. Because God the Father is our Father. Amen. Because God's name is hallowed among us and placed upon us in our baptism. It's a name that we can call upon in every trouble. Pray, praise, and give thanks. Amen, because his will is done. He breaks and hinders every evil plan and purpose of the devil, the world, and our own sinful nature. Amen, because he gives us daily bread, and we give thanks to him for his good gifts. Amen, because he forgives us our trespasses. Amen, because of the cross. Amen, because we forgive those who sin against us. Amen, because God doesn't lead us into temptation. Amen, because he always gives us a way out, an escape. Amen, because huh, Jesus has crushed the head of the serpent. Amen, it means yay, yay, it shall be so. Or maybe you learned it, yes, yes, it shall be so. Thanks be to God. He has done all things well for you and for me. And so we shout, Amen. This is our word. It's the church's word. It's the word that is in the mouth, upon the lips of the Christian church, upon the Christian, in all of our prayers, and in these liturgical and life-giving moments where we share them with our fellow believers. Amen. When we need to say, yes, yes, it shall be so. The word of God and its promise is complete. The word of God is kept. Jesus has brought his good gifts to us. And we live in him. We will live in him forevermore. Thanks be to God that he dwells with his people. That he sent his spirit to you. Amen, because that spirit has brought that gospel into your ear and down into your heart. Amen, because the Holy Spirit dwells in your heart. That makes you a temple of the living God. Amen. He has made you holy. You are sanctified and kept in the true faith. Daily and richly, he forgives all of your sins and the sins of all believers. Ah. This is the God of promises kept, of word complete, that even as the world crumbles around us, we know he endures forever.